We've confirmed that the network core units known as Adam and Eve have been destroyed. The enemy's chain of command has been thrown into complete chaos. As such, humanity has chosen to seize this opportunity and launch an all-out attack against the machine forces. Of course, the forces of Yorha will participate in this endeavor. Remember your pain. The pain of having your homeland stolen. We will never give up our struggle. We will take back the seas, the skies, the land. We will take back our world from the scourge of the machines. We will not fail in this mission. Here and now, we will put an end to this goddamn war. Glory to mankind. Glory! Server Administrator 3F, please return to the Server Administration Room as soon as possible to handle a capacity issue. End transmission. Command to all your units. Upon your descent to the surface, proceed to follow pre-programmed instructions and carry out your operation. To prevent data leakage, communication from the surface is prohibited. Before I could convince myself to tell 2B the truth, our final major operation had begun. Still, at the time, I knew nothing. Not how the battle would end, nor what fate stood in wait for us. And those are your orders. Do you understand? Um, the scanners are going to hack into the enemy's anti-air system and shut it down in advance of an all-out assault, right? That's right. Good job, 9S. Why are you talking to me like I'm a child? What? That must be your imagination. Look for machines that are receiving signals from the anti-air system. They should be located in elevated areas with good signal reception. I've forwarded the general positions of the machine life forms you need to hack. Roger. So here we are back as 9S. I'm more surprised the game forced me into Please being 9S. From destroying the target. If you do, another one will simply take its place. No killing the target. Got it. You know, all things considered, I'm really surprised they put me back in 9S. Don't get me wrong, I mean, he's not terrible. Okay, he is kind of bad. I think even, like, people who love this game have to admit 9S is the most inferior of the combat bots you're going to use. Like, 2B is good. The other character's good, who you'll see who you control later. And 9S is like, eh. But his main thing is hacking. And I think once you get the hacking thing down, which I have, it's not that bad anymore. So our goal now is just to uh, hack a bunch of bots, take them offline, so that their air defense system isn't active anymore. Which shouldn't be too bad, right? I mean, we've done this before. The target is thought to be in a high location with good network reception. Try examining the rooftops of... God, I really do love the 8-bit music in this game, man. Roger. was successful way to go you're totally treating me like a kid now move on to the next one fine you know it's it's funny he complains about being treated as a kid when up until now his uh his operator treated him like an asshole so you know i mean if you had to pick between being treated like a literal child or being treated like a dipshit then i think being treated as a child is probably the better option Alright, so we gotta go find these other ones. Of course, they're highlighted on their map. You don't actually have to fight them like they tell you. You know, it's just hack them, get what you need, and be fucking done with it. Be it 
advised, the target's appearance is identical to that of a standard enemy. Once you approach, however, a marker will appear. Is it me, or does it seem like they're getting smarter? Oh, they're they're de they're getting smarter, and and this next section kind of proves it, man. The robots have gone from being like mildly smart or just being mildly predictive to being like absolutely counter, absolutely intuitive in how they deal with androids, which makes sense. This war has been going on for so damn long. Eventually, you figure like, hey. You know, these androids keep whooping our asses. Maybe it's about time we do something a little different. And that's exactly what they're doing now. They've caught on to our gimmick. Defensive system operation confirmed to be declining. Almost there. It is really kind of interesting to see how these robots have sort of evolved as the story goes on. Although, arguably, it's not as noticeable. I mean, it's noticeable, but I feel like... I feel like there must have been a higher evolution at some point, right? Like, we played through the same story twice, so I can't say for sure. But it just... I feel like... I feel like the androids shouldn't be that surprised. You've been engaged in this war with the bots for, like, hundreds of years. I'm sure they've made leaps and bounds over the dozens or hundreds of years you've been fighting them right like it's not like they it's not like the robots were fucking dumbasses from the beginning and then magically in the span of like however long the engagement took with 2b and 9s to conclude suddenly and i just mean magically ended up now ended up being fucking geniuses that's not how that usually works especially in um 9s store where we learn that like the robots are bad at anything that pertains to like governing themselves, but when it comes to dealing with androids, yo, they they catch on super quick. Hell, the gameplay illustrates that more than anything else. We saw them go from basically just getting fucked by 2B on a regular basis to literally instituting EMP uh, shockwaves whenever you fight them. Remember, they did those little uh, wait, uh, those little shock barriers. God, you know, this only just institutes just how much better I've gotten at doing hacking. Uh, mostly because staying still during hacking is such a bad... You gotta keep moving. You don't have time to be wasting sitting around waiting. Looks like it's going well down there. Every scanner in the force is involved in this operation. So let's try not to fall behind. Yeah, yeah, no falling behind. Got it. 9S? What is it? Make sure to do whatever is necessary to avoid combat. And how will I provide support to the squad if I don't fight? Scanner units such as yourself are not designed for battle. Aw, are you worried about me? No, I'm merely pointing out that you would be a liability on the battlefield. Wow, that's... harsh. Admittedly, that's pretty fucking harsh. That's... ouch. I, I don't, you know, you know, Ninez, you, you've grown on me since this story started, so I'm going to say that that was a little harsh than I think you actually deserve. Which is weird that 2B is so by the books, or so, you know, cut and dry, yet 9S is the goofy, lovable one. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like 9S is supposed to be an allegory for the player on some, on some level. You know what I mean? Like... The player is supposed to be like, man, this 9S guy is basically just a human. In like, really weird black garb and a fucking blindfold over... Why do they have blindfolds? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, everything else doesn't matter. I can live with everything else, but why the blindfolds? What, what possible purpose do they serve? 2B can take hers off. I think 9S takes his off. Are they blind? I don't think they're blind. They're they're robots. They have visual systems, right? Eleven S to nine S, come in. Nine S here. Go ahead. I'm just about wrapped up here. How about you? Um, just one left, I think. Roger. Be sure to head back to the bunker when you're done so you can sync your data. 
Oh, right. I forgot about that. Until your combat data is uploaded, none of the scanner models can run updates. Okay. I'll take care of it as soon as I'm done here. Appreciate it. That seems like a very, very uh, counterintuitive means of uh, updating your client if everybody else there has to sync their data. But I guess it makes sense, right? Like, on a network, you kind of want everyone to be on the same page. Right, but we're not talking about, like, a Google Doc or something, right? We're talking about a bunch of combat androids. I just don't feel like this is the best method. But I guess it also probably avoids, like, half your squadron uh, being on old firmware or something, right? You know, everyone's uh, everyone's upgraded to the newest firmware, yet this one asshole's on the old firmware from, like, six months ago. Man, I got I get really good at this, man. Shit. Ooh, that looks like everything. Proposal: Unit 9S should rendezvous with Unit 2B before the combat situation worsens. Sounds like a plan. Let me just mark the point on the map. And So what is this there. red? There's a red point on the map that exists there up until now, and I never understood why that red point is even there cuz it's not it's, there's no quest over there as far as I know. Yeah, see, there's no quest. There's no, there's no reason for that red circle to have even been there. And clearly it wasn't important to the quest I just, to the mission I just had. Am I the only one that feels like I don't even need to do commentary over near sometimes? Sometimes the music is so calming and amazing, I just want to sit back and just let the music do the commentary for me. And then I realized nobody would fucking watch the video if I did that. Ugh. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to look at that later. Here they come. Chubby, the operation will begin at a point southwest of the city ruins. Use your flight unit to travel there and meet up with 9S. Will do. We've repaired and reinstalled the weapons damaged in the fight against Eve. Be careful, okay? The mission will be in full swing by the time you get there. I will. And thanks. Gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys. I'm kinda over the whole flight suit thing. You know, I don't, like, I've been asking myself this ever since 9S's story concluded. Are we playing as the 9S from that story, from that, from the end of that period, or is this a different 9S? 
like the 9s we know uploaded his data and ended up uploaded his data through the machine network and ended up a machine so is this the same 9s or is this a different one just asking it kind of matters right now 9s openly said he never had the heart to tell 2b so maybe it's the same 9s Eh, it's hard to say. I'm not really all that sure, honestly. I'd like to believe it's the same one, but... I mean, let's face it, they're all robots. I mean, they're kind of all interchangeable after a while. To be. What's our status? The operation is underway, and a few squads have already engaged the enemy. Our orders are to function as a kind of guerrilla unit that provides support as necessary. I forwarded our squad's current positions to your map. You should head over there ASAP. So, in case you're wondering, no, this is not my first attempt. I actually attempted this little segment like two or three times before I got the hang of it. So there are a handful of reasons why this segment sucks for me so much. One, I don't think I ever put much effort into more chips, which I do later, but in this, unfortunately, I just never knew how important that was. And two, I don't know if my level matters or not. I haven't really figured that part out. But no, I'm gonna blame my chips. So uh, you're gonna know I don't save many squads. In fact, I don't think I save any. Unfortunately, that's a... Uh, that's unfortunate, right? But when you see what happens later, it's not really gonna matter. I mean, you can, but the game won't let you continue onward with the storyline until every single bot is destroyed in these combat areas. This is Unit 8B with Attack Squadron Omega. We've gained control of our assigned zone. Heading out now to provide support elsewhere. One of the things I also never paid much attention to is the fact that you can actually set your partner's AI to actually act a certain way. Something I didn't even know you could do. Like, I didn't even know that was an option, man. That changed everything for this. Suddenly now 9S is getting in there, getting work done. Jesus, man, look at the man. The man's actually trying his fucking best out here on these streets. So yeah, this, this, this guy, the, you have to fight like two of these, although I will say this encounter with this particular unit is uh, a little bit more um, hospitable than the next one. The next one has a bunch of circumstances tied to us trying to kill it, and it's not very pleasant for me as a player. I'm still very much wondering about the utility of having a bot that can do that. I just don't see how that's... Like, who gets hit by that? 
Like, I know gameplay-wise, hitboxes and all, but, like, in real life, if I saw, if I saw this robot, if I saw the Iron Giant helicoptering right in front of me, like, I don't know, man, I just wouldn't be all that scared of it. But then again, the Iron Giant wasn't scary until, like, his face opened up and revealed a laser rifle, a laser gun, and his arms turned into nuke launchers, so, you know, it's all perspective. So, you know, if you thought maybe, like, I did alright that first time, and, like, you know, there was a survivability chance and all this nonsense, and, like, you know, I was close. I'm not even close. This is such a nightmare. Like, this isn't unbeatable, and like I said, this is mostly my fault. I didn't take the game all that seriously, because by the time you get to 9S, I mean, his story isn't even all that difficult. And given the fact he gets to sit out of at least, like, what, two, maybe even three boss fights? I mean, shit, man, his shit's easy compared to this nonsense. You know, I'm gonna be real with you guys. There's a point in, there's a point in this entire adventure where even I have to ask myself, is this worth it to me? Am I really accomplishing anything here? Is this really worth my time? Worth the effort, the pain, the suffering, the anguish I'm gonna have to feel dealing with this level of horseshit? Cuz I'ma keep it real with you. No. No, it's not. It real. it's really not. It's really not. I don't think it's worth it. I love this game, and I'm happy I'm doing it, but fuck, man. Nope. I'm surprised there's any Yorha units alive. Like, they are all getting their asses beat. I don't, I just don't see a way to, I mean, are you supposed to be able to save them all? I guess you must be supposed to, else why would you, why would you have the objective? Support the next squad. Understood. We'll join you there and lend a hand. All right. Man, I can't see a thing. Alert. Detecting an unusually high number of hostile machine life forms. Why are they going nuts like this? I thought Eve's network was destroyed. All we can do is fight. Then he realized Eve was not even like the final, final boss. Eve was just uh, a warm up. Uh, which one is this one? This must be, I think this is the alleyway one, isn't it? This is the one in the alleyway with the other murder bots. This isn't the, this is the second to last one. So this sort of illustrates one of my larger complaints with this game sometimes. Like, I, like, I'm not naive. Like, I know that, like, the bullet hell nonsense this game does isn't new. Gestalt did it. I get it. I, I know it's not. This is, this is the way, this is the way prior games were. This is the, what you deal with. I'm not saying it has to change. I'm just saying I'm not a fan of how chaotic these battlefields can get. And maybe, uh, like, look, look, I'm okay with admitting maybe I'm doing it wrong. You know what I mean? Like, that's fine. It's a video game. I can learn. I can adapt. 
Uh, if you play Final Fantasy XIV, I can adjust. Uh, you know, I'm not beholden unto my ley lines. Again, they keep telling you to do this, but don't, because you still need to kill everything. Because even if you go to every single area, fuck it up like I did, you're still going to have to go back and kill all the robots. So you might as well just kill them while you're here. You're just wasting your time otherwise. This one I didn't do too bad. Like, I don't think it was good, but they're mostly almost dead. And there aren't that many of them left. Surprisingly, this this point and like this point in the game is when I really started to take note of like what the implications were of death. Yeah, death. You just lose you lose whatever shit you had on you, and that's not fucking fun. Cause you may not have good ships to make up for the ships you just lost in death. And if you don't go back and pick up your body, guess what, homeboy? That's it. You fucked up. Yo, there's this one. Oh, never mind. Uh. Uh, yeah, 2B, 2B, 2B units, man, they, they are awesome, but they are glass fucking cannons, man, if we get hit a couple times, and that's fucking, wait, there's another one? Oh, never mind, she died too. See, you think it's over, but then you realize it's not letting you leave, it's not, it's not taking away the, over the red circle, there's more, ro there's more murder droids. Oh, uh, thank God for lock-on, man. Finding those hidden murder droids at any given point. Tubi, we've sighted new enemies in the region. They've got attack squadron Omega surrounded and are giving them one hell of a fight. Can you get over there and provide support ASAP? Man, this is tougher than I thought it would be. We need to hurry. You get to ask yourself, what's worse than big bots? A fuck ton of small bots. Are we ever glad to see you? They came out of nowhere. We were fighting for our damn lives. The only bright side of this fight is the fact that since they're so small, they're nowhere near as durable as, like, the bigger ones that do the fucking Kamehameha blast into the fucking air. Nice. This segment is absolutely ass. So here's the thing. You can try to fight them fairly, but they, they're they going to keep blasting you with M EMPs. You're better off just hacking and then blowing them the fuck up. Because at least then you're doing damage to a group. Also, I just don't think this this works. What the hell's going that and there's only a handful of them that are actually difficult to hack the rest of them aren't that bad so you could just hack them over and over and over again blow up as many as you possibly can and do like damage to like entire groups because of it and like i said none of these are really that difficult i think only one or two of them have really difficult hacks but again 
if you've made it this far as 9S, you're probably used to the hacking, but this, this one sucks. Not gonna fucking lie, this one's kind of ass. I think what's worse is that they put a time limit on you, so... And I fuck it up, obviously, you know. I think this one sucks mostly because you're dealing with the normal ones and the ones you can only hit from behind. And plus, dealing with multiple enemies is never fun in these minigames. Bright side is unlike a lot of my earlier attempts on this segment, I didn't have a complete disruption in my visuals. I mean, your visuals will get disrupted during this, but it wasn't as bad as it can be. It can get really bad, man. But again, why would the robot, like, the robots knew to do this. They had this arranged. They had this planned. Like, you gotta kind of wonder, like, you know, these robots are clearly intelligent. Oh, this one sucks. So this is the one where you just kind of have to just hope for the best, go around in circles, and hope you can get rid of them all. And hopefully not die. There we go. You'll notice that despite all of this, I'm actually managing to get hacks in and not immediately have my vision fucked up, which is not going to be a thing I'm going to be able to accomplish on the next one. See, I'm okay with this because at least I didn't fuck it up so bad to where your vision gets fucked up. Because once your vision gets fucked up, I mean, you really have nothing on this. This is just kind of just ass. That and the fact that I couldn't even hit that thing. Thank you. Yeah, and the thing is about the EMPs, they're all, they can disable a variety of things, like at some point, you can't, at some point, you can't even, like, uh, dodge roll. Like, your evasive maneuvers get taken out, you're not allowed to use your pod, which is kind of ass. I'm not actually using it, because I think it's actually, I think my hacking here got disabled as well, which is fucking fantastic, always fun. So I do have access to my pod, which is good. That that makes this doable. I am still shocked I got by that without instantly dying. Compared to how I was when I first started playing as 9S, I am fucking surprised. I'm competent at this minigame, man. I I gotta give myself, like, at least a little bit of a pat on the back. I pick up quick. I'm a very... I like to, I like to believe I'm a fairly quick study. Yeah, that was rough. Okay. Is this a white area virus?
Yeah. Taken over. No. Wait, what? Attack functions aren't working. That's because of their your IDs. To be. I need to hack into you and fry your identification circuits. Do it. So this is such a cool concept, right? Because they're Yorha, you're not allowed to attack your own people, which makes sense, right? Friendly fire would not be a thing. So you have to actually fry her identification chip so that she's no so that she no longer identifies as Yorha so that she can attack her own. Jamming our comms. Got it. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. So there's no sense in fighting them because they're just going to endlessly respawn. As far as I can tell, they endlessly respawn. You can't necessarily kill them all, which inherently makes this next bit really fucking difficult. But I mean. If you just ignore them, they're not that bad, surprisingly enough. Uh, unlike many games, I feel like, I feel like this game kind of lets you get away with just ignoring the enemy if you have to. Which is what we have to do. Because you have to kill another one of the Iron Giants, and this guy's an asshole. So, they, the ga this game is great about introducing you to a concept and then using that concept over and fucking over again. And boy, oh boy, do they ever. Because he's not just jamming your communication. Oh no, I would be easy. Uh, he has the ability to EMP the fuck out of you. Which can fuck up your vision, as you see here. This is... I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you guys, and I don't... This puts me in such a fucked up position, because I like this game. But there's this and one other segment in this game so far that I gotta be real and just say, Yo, I'm not feeling it, man. Shit's not good. This is not a good look. I genuinely don't think this was a good look for this game. So, uh, God. The goal here is just to destroy the Iron Giant. That's really all that matters. Once he's destroyed, nothing else matters in this fight. Because at that point, the fight's fucking over. Like, once you kill it, the fight's over. You win. Uh, the Yorha units don't matter. I mean, they're going to matter a little bit, but they're, they're not... They're not conducive to your victory. Therefore, you really shouldn't be focusing that much of your attention on them. Which is kind of bad because, you know, he keeps on fucking taking out my vision sensors, which is fantastic. But the bright side is he's not taking away, like, your ability to, like, fucking run or something. And you can still see him. Like, that would just be asinine if they just took away your vision entirely. And before any near aficionados tell me to get good... Uh, if you've been watching, I've gotten good. The getting good part is not the problem. I could deal with not being good at something. That was that was the that was like the first half of B's section in like the entirety of the hacking mini game in 9S's. That's called me getting good. And if anything, I've only proven now that not only can I get good, I've gotten good. So I do believe I am well within my right to happily say I think this is a shitty gimmick. It's interesting, but in these sort of high tense situations, I think there could have been a better use for obstacles than putting literal Yorha units who mimic me and have mostly the same mobility and attacks that I do that can deal a fuck ton of damage. And you might say, like, well, you just don't have the right ships. Send an emergency distress signal to command. Pause. Alert. Connection lost. Unable to reach command. Damn it. They're still jamming Negative. us? Signal reception is clear. Connection lost due to server side authentication failure. No response is coming from command on any channel. Shit. What happened to the bunker? 
can't keep doing this forever. To me, I have an idea. It's possible to access the bunker through a back door in the system. I can use that to initiate an emergency upload of our personal log data. Then we set our black boxes to self-destruct and take them all out at once. Sounds good. Data upload 30% complete. 50% complete. We just hit 70%. Are you done yet? Almost. We're at 92%. To be your black box. Lock data upload complete. <laughs> Nina! <laughs> 